Hi guys, it's Lisa. I am going to do a tumbler with the Tacket method. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of this process because I've showed you this in the past. So I'm going to use Eileen's Tacket over and over. I have a little bit of water in here mixed so that it's not totally full strength. And then basically, hang on one second. Okay, sorry, somebody was at my door. Get this on. All right, so I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and I'm just going to paint this on. It's it's like a a Mod Podge glue or something, right? So you just want to put. <coughs> Sorry, guys, if I cough, I'm still fighting this pneumonia. So, um. So this stuff you put on like a glue. Um, pretty generous, generous coat. Um, and normally I would, um, put like holographic glitter on it and then rub it out. But today... I'm going to try it. I've been waiting to um, use some micas from Primary Elements. Probably should have put a little bit more water in this. It helps it spread a little bit better and a little bit more even. But, so yeah, I'm going to use um, Mica from uh, Color Art. It is the new Glass Wing Butterfly Mica set. It can be used in um, resin or acrylic. It is 100% pure mica. And in this set, they have um, four of them that I've, I've been very excited about. In their bottles, they don't, you know, don't really look like super duper amazing. But I'm thinking I'm going to do a galaxy cup. And if this works, then the mica will just stick. So if you see, I'm just gliding it so that there's not big chunks. So it's white right now when it um, dries, it will turn clear and stay very tacky. Uh, you can take your heat gun if you're impatient like me and help it along a little bit. 
I'll see how tacky it is. If it's not tacky enough, then um, I'll put another coat on before the micas. But as it dries, it ends up turning clear. So, as you can see, part of it, it's starting to dry. So, I will bring you back when that is all dry and we move on to the next step. See you soon. Okay. So, I am going to use these smoky ones from the Glass Wing Butterfly set from Color Arts Bling It line. It's a new set of 12 that is all pure 100% mica. And these ones got like a smoky color shifting type of property in these four. So I thought I would use them and brush them over this tacket and see if that works. So, let me take this off my turner. Um, this is a little color switch thing I have. It's for makeup but it's to clean your brushes to go from one makeup to another and uh, you just kind of just rub it out and it cleans your brush off and it works with micas too if you're transferring different micas. So it's pretty tacky. Give it a try. And there will be some mica flying. So, because I am dealing with pneumonia right now, I am. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Somebody else came in again. All right, so. Because I'm dealing with pneumonia, and it's always a good idea not to breathe mica in. Maybe wear a mask. It doesn't have to be a respirator, it just has to be like a particle mask. See that? So I'm going to get um, this one here is called Angel Wings. That's this one. This one here is Aurora. This one is called Rain. And this one is called Luna. 
like my doggie's name. So I'm going to like be mixing some of them. And just like rubbing them in, in uh, random spots. And then once they're on the random spots, you can always um, uh, blend them in. See how you see the mica floating away? That's the stuff. You don't want to breathe that in. It's not a good idea. You just kind of, oops, it just got it all over me. It is a little bit messy, but I think it's going to be worth it. For the end result like i said i usually do the tacket with glitter holographic glitter but i thought you know why wouldn't it work with mica i don't know that it would work with like our primary elements i mean i can give it a try you know with uh pigments in them but this is 100 percent mica it doesn't have pigments in them I don't know why it wouldn't work. Probably would. But you just keep adding it. Oops. And when you're doing a cup like this, it you know, it it can just be random. Just random. Just to make sure that all the tackiness is gone. So you just want to cover it and make sure the whole cup is covered. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I think I'm within frame. And this is just a regular, just real soft makeup brush. And then when you take it and you swirl, it will uh, work itself in. I'm making quite the mess here. Making quite the mess.
It's looking very northern lightsy to me. I still got a couple tacky spots here. Um, hang on one second here. This is called abalone shell. Also in the bling it line. <laughs> what it is, is all of the five interferences Um, mixed together. So, interference, violet, blue, red, green, so a little bit of that all over will look pretty too. So I am basically just going to go over this a couple more times just to make sure all the tackiness is off it. And and blend it out more. Off camera. Because I'm basically just doing the same thing over and over again. See the different colors? Gorgeous. So pretty, isn't it? Where's the light? So I'm just going to blend it some more and keep working on it. And then I'll bring it back for the next step. Look at how pretty it looks. All right, I'll bring you back here shortly. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna take this cup into a different direction now because I have spent about an hour looking for my galaxy stars. And I can't find them because my room is such a mess right now. I have to clean it. As soon as I get a video posted, I'll be cleaning this room. And then I'm going to revisit and do another galaxy. But we are going to take this mermaid. Okay. So this is once um once all the colors down, all the mic is down, or glitter, whichever whichever you're doing the tech it method with. It is um, dry and you can go ahead and start your next process. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to do a mermaid.
I really wish I had my stars. I had them set aside for this project and I had everything set aside for this project and I was just waiting on the um, the butterfly glass wing set to arrive. And now I can't find my stars. But that's okay because this cup is going to still be beautiful. So we are going to do a couple tattoos on them. Now like I said, I just will recap a little bit. I did the Eileen's tacket over and over. Let it dry. And then I did another coat of the tacket. Let it dry. When it dries, it turns clear. It gets very tacky. And then I took a makeup brush, soft makeup brush, with the mica powders. Whatever mica powders you want to use. Um, you can use chameleon flakes. You can use whatever. You can use holographic glitter. But I just wanted to use these micas and wanted to know if I could use it with the Tacket method. And I totally can. So, um, yeah, so then once you've rubbed, you know, and brushed that all in, then you can take your hand and just kind of like go over it and flatten it out. I mean, it's pretty much flat because it's just mica powder. Um, but yeah, just, rub it in really good and you're ready for the next step now you don't have to put a decal on it you can put a name on it or whatever um, if you're gonna put vinyl on at this point I would put a coat of epoxy over it first <coughs> before putting the vinyl on because sometimes um, your vinyl doesn't go on right and if you were to have to lift your vinyl it could possibly bring up your mica also so you'll want to either put a coat of epoxy on it or a sealer or something I didn't seal this because I'm doing a tattoo which is uh, with water once it's on it's on I'm not getting it off if I screw it up then I'll have to sand the whole cup anyway so yeah, that's that. So, so at this point, I am going to put a mermaid tattoo, and I've got a couple mermaid scales. So, you want to remove this plastic coating from your um, tattoo. These tattoos, I have them in my Amazon shop. Um, I have a bunch of them. I love doing them. I can do them on coasters, on wood rounds, on canvases, you know, just to embellish a pour that you don't like so much. You can put tattoos on it. I'm in love with this technique so I think I'm gonna have her kind of be kind of like that on the cup so if there's a spot on your cup that you don't like then use that spot See, like, this is a really hard line right here. So I'm going to use, and I'm going to cover up that spot. <coughs> so once you lay this down, it's down. So if that's not where you want it, um, then change your mind and have that be where you want it because it's not going anywhere. 
Now, again, I have not tried the mica powders as the Tacket method, so I could be making a huge mistake right now. But we're going to find out together. Because this water is dripping down the cup. Normally with holographic glitter, it doesn't matter. And I can go ahead and tattoo right from this point. So I am just going to assume I can do the same thing with the um, like as I do with the glitter. So you just basically just make sure your tattoo's down real good. And it will, when it's ready to come off, you can kind of see it, see how I can move it. Take your wet finger and kind of smash out any bubbles. If they're big bubbles, you can kind of like roll them out to the side. If they're little, they'll just kind of like just pop. But you want to make sure that everything is down real good. Just kind of like roll your finger on it. See how I'm doing that? It's like a wet finger just rolling it out just making sure that there's no bubbles and that everything is down good Then I'm going to take a little napkin. Do not rub your tattoo. Just kind of like pat it. And this will squeeze any water that's underneath the tattoo out. Now it does look like I can see the drips from the water in the mica but I'm thinking that's just because it's wet. Hopefully they dry and they don't leave a mark. Can you see here? There's a few little bubbles here. If you have a big bubble that you can't seem to get to come out, you can use one of these pins. It's like a weeding tool. Just pop and press. Pop and press. She looks kind of dark and mysterious on this dark cup. All right, so from here, I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm just gonna dry, just make sure that it's good and dry.
Plus, I want to see if those drips stay in there. Okay. So there she is in all her beautifulness. <clears throat> and then I've got some of these. And these are gold. Um, they've got gold in them, so they'll kind of make it pop. And you can pretty much put them wherever you want. And they don't have to be even. <coughs> I'm going to just show you me doing one of them. And then I will finish with the others. I've got like five more to put on. You don't need to see all of that. And then I've got like a little, uh, little mermaid chain that I think I'm gonna put down here for her. But like I said, I'll bring you back when all of that's done. And show you what it looks like before I start the epoxy. Ooh, those really pop. Pretty. I like that. Especially because she's so dark. Okay, let me take you. I will give you a close-up, and then I'll finish her up and bring you back. Oh, yeah, you guys have had a crappy view, haven't you? Ugh. I'm sorry. Hopefully you still saw what I was doing. Why is my lighting so crappy? how pretty she looks on it and when I put epoxy on her she's going to glow all right I'm sorry for your crappy view <coughs> hopefully when editing it you can at least make out what I was doing I don't know what's going on with my lights All right, I'll bring you back shortly. Okay, guys, I put all the other tattoos on it and in the um, process. I put the, oops. In the process I ended up embellishing my mermaid a bit because again I can't leave stuff alone everything's got to be so extra so I used this glue pen which is one of my favorite things um, it goes on blue and then when it turns clear then you can put your glitter on and then I put some fine glitter in 
and I outlined my mermaid and you guys she's beautiful so I used the glitter I used is from <coughs> sorry Laura's Art Corner Golden Sparkle it's a golden holographic this jar says glass glitter but this one's not the glass glitter and then I used the blue opulence blue holographic glitter powder the pigment base or mica base that I used so I used the tacket and then the mica bases that I used were from color art they are the uh, glass wing butterfly kit uh, it's the rain Luna angel wings and Aurora they're all the smoky ones and then as you saw me do earlier I just rubbed it all in all right so I do not I'm getting ready to put a coat of epoxy on this I'm not gonna show you me putting the epoxy on because I've done that in previous videos if you want to see how I put epoxy on a cup then um, we can there's some there's plenty of tumblr videos and a tumblr playlist but look at her tail isn't she pretty let's get rid of this light She's so pretty. And then she's got the little chain down here that says mermaid. Look how magical it turned out. So pretty. I'm actually kind of glad I couldn't find my stars because going in the mermaid way really paid off I think <coughs> but I will definitely revisit this and I will be doing a galaxy here soon if you want to uh, get your hands on any of the color art uh, mica like I said this was the glass wing butterfly kit which are all these are the the four smoky colors that we used and then these are the other ones that come with it there's 12 Isadora uh Byzantine, Meadow, Yemen, Oasis, Parisian Lily, Chalcedony, Glass Wing which is the name of this kit, Glass Wing Butterflies, and Indigo. So this is all of them. And then the four beautiful smoky colors. So the I have a code down below um, in the description. 20% off your order at color art uh, they also have a new kit that came out um, called uh, ancient treasures I'll be using them in an upcoming video shortly and um, the glitters that I used are from Laura's art corner also have a code down below for that she also sells pigments um, tints Lorez products and you can save 10% off 
on that. The tacket will be in my um, Amazon shop. So this will conclude this video. Actually, I'll probably give you a short clip after I get some epoxy on it and it's turning. I'll give you a short clip of it when the epoxy's on it. So I will be back in just one second. Okay guys, here she is with her first coat of epoxy on. I did add some heavenly glitter in there and I think I added too much. So I'm going to be taking my finger and scraping some of it off. But then the second coat of epoxy will have nothing in it, so it'll be redeemed. But she's so pretty. I can't wait till she's all dry. And I will show her on an upcoming video sometime in the next couple weeks. I also have my second coat. <laughs> I'm sorry, my third coat of epoxy on this one. This is the one that I did a full vinyl wrap on. Uh, I have a video of this if you want to go check it out. I will link it at the back of, you know, at the end screen here. And then you can go check that one out. But that one will have its final coat of epoxy. And then she will be ready to go to a new owner. Uh, all right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.